Strictly Medicinal Materia Medica course, Juhua, the Chinese tea chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum morifolium. This is a plant in the family Aster, the Asteraceae. This is also known as the Autumn Chrysanthemum. This particular type is Gong Juhua. Bo Juhua is another that I'm going to show you a little later, and that one is in flower right now. The Gong Juhua is in pre-flowering stage here in early November in Southern Oregon. An evergreen subshrub native to China. It's hardy to zones five to 10. It's an ancient cultigen that cannot be propagated by seed. It's propagated instead by making cuttings at the base of the plant where you see that the stems have begun to root into the ground. You cut the stem away in such a manner that uh, there are several nodes that are rooted and you dig up the hair roots and then you prune off the aerial part of the cutting to two or three growing nodes and that you pot up to a pot and then put it in a cool moist shady place and within about six months it'll fill the pot with roots and create a nice rounded form to the top of the plant and this you can then transplant out at two to three feet and that becomes a new shrub then the plant makes flowers and let me get around here and show you the um, some flowering ones these are um, newer starts that are over here and in fact they were just planted out in the spring so they haven't had much of a chance to establish themselves but they did flower and then this is the boju hua type which is uh, the sort of official to the chinese pharmacopoeia then um, the flowers are used for making tea you put a handful of the flowers in boiling water and steep it for four minutes and you can make a really delicious tea that way and then actually you can uh, use the same flowers and and extract them again sometimes people will actually even boil the flowers for a little while or, or give them a, at least simmer them for five or ten minutes before steeping and then that makes an even uh, uh, stronger tea and this is one of the Chinese herbs that releases the exterior the uh, directions for making the medicated wine are in my book, Making Plant Medicine, which is it's a pretty cool product. You just take a wine glass full every evening and you get the, uh, all these salubrious uh, uh, effects from the herb. It is used uh, for treating common colds, flu, fever, heat stroke, uh, high blood pressure, heart pain, which is angina, atherosclerosis, which is hardening of the arteries and blockage thereof, uh, dizziness, hearing loss, tinnitus, which a lot of people really complain about, uh, headache and migraine, red and swollen eyes, blurry vision, uh, and then that goes right along with liver toxicity and, infl and inflammation, doesn't it? And then the tea is also used for treating infections, including Staphylococcus and Streptococcus, also um, uh, diseases caused by blood spirochetes, which would, of course, include uh, malaria and Lyme. The herb has a cooling and detoxifying effect for uh, treating these acute conditions. Uh, it's also commonly used in the form of a daily tisane, a tonic to promote good energy, uh, improve hearing and vision, stimulate intelligence and mental acuity, and promote longevity. So it's certainly an herb worth knowing. I encourage you to get it and you